Después de más de dos meses de combates, las banderas negras de los yihadistas siguen presentes en Marawi, en la isla de Mindanao, en las Filipinas. Los milicianos de Maute y Abu Sayyaf, grupos que han jurado fidelidad al Estado Islámico, todavía están atrincherados en zonas neurálgicas de la principal ciudad musulmana del país. La liberación de Marawi parece ser solo cuestión de tiempo, quizás semanas, pero mientras tanto el número de víctimas entre las Fuerzas Armadas Filipinas aumenta día a día. They're saying that the enemy should surrender and they want to imply to this enemy that uh, you have no, no glory upon us, no glory, no, no uh, contest upon us, they cannot, uh, that they, they, that they, they, they cannot win. Neighbors will, will will get angry to them to what they have done to this to this city. We're going to cross this bridge. There's a there's an enemy fire over there, so we have to move quickly right. inside. Okay. Okay. Other side the enemy, yeah. that river, a river. Then after that, the enemy. So don't too much expose. Black locals, black locals this is a former location of the enemy. Uh, it was uh, recovered or recovered by the multi group, and afterwards they are forced to leave this building because of our government forces. Uh, push them away after the bridge so from here from this location we are nearly 100 to 50 meters 50 meters to 100 to the uh, uh, contested area uh, dreams well, honestly, honestly. Well, just to end this war just to end this war las tropas filipinas, movilizadas en 7.000 hombres, atacan por tierra con la ayuda de bombarderos y helicópteros de asalto. Pero los yihadistas, que según los servicios de inteligencia todavía son unos 500, no tienen ninguna intención de rendirse. Según el gobierno de Manila, los yihadistas habrían robado cerca de 1.400 millones de dólares en efectivo y joyas en los bancos, en los centros comerciales y en las viviendas de Maragui. The current situation on the ground, particularly on the main battle area, is getting more complex because of the movement of troops toward the center of gravity of the enemy. For the last uh, several days, we have gained more grounds, more buildings that were previously occupied by the terrorists as their stronghold. Our mission here is to neutralize the remaining local terrorist group and destroy their capabilities, especially the center of gravity. Second is to rescue the remaining hostages and trap civilians from the main battle area and setting condition for the quick rehabilitation and reconstruction program. Are very committed and focused to finish the job as soon as possible. Marawi City is as a center of commerce, this is also where majority of them live. They have their families here, they have their business interests, they have, they have their political interests, 
they have their relatives, brothers and sisters. So this create this create created more complexities. They will destroy Marawi City because according to them, this is their home. The enemy struck the heart of the city. They, they, they kill their own people, Muslim, Christians. They have destroyed their own homes, looted their own money, heritage and culture. La situación es tensa en toda la isla de Mindanao por miedo a infiltraciones. Algunos terroristas, en efecto, habrían logrado salir de Marawi a pesar de los numerosos puntos de revisión del ejército. Entre ellos podría estar Isnilon Totoni Hapilon, líder de Abu Sayyaf, considerado el jefe del Estado Islámico en las Filipinas y fugitivo número uno de las autoridades. Y para gestionar el problema, el presidente Rodrigo Duterte ha alargado la ley marcial en toda la isla hasta el 31 de diciembre de 2017.